This is good. Look at this. Look at that right there. That's good. That's money. This looks good right here. <laughs> and it's not empty. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, one, two. What's up, Larkinets? Welcome to another episode. We're gonna go digging in this unit, and just so you know, uh, this is the unit we bought when no one showed up at the auction. 50 bucks we paid. 10 feet wide, 20 feet deep. There's tons of dust. Actually, we were already dug in, let's see, I don't know, good five, six feet into the thing. And finding good stuff. If you watch the last few videos, we're finding really good stuff. Actually, I'm surprised at how good this stuff is. Not a lot going to the dump, a lot going to the market, some even for the vintage, and some that go home for us to either be auctioned off our, our Monday night auctions or to go to eBay. Some were a little bit better because it's nice stuff. All right, we're about to get started digging here. I'm waiting for my help to get off the phone and come over and help me. You'll see who that is in a second. Surprise guest appearance. And we, uh, we're excited, all right? Excited to be doing some more digging, doing some unboxings and exploring and finding more good stuff for you guys. Are you ready to get started? Hey, if you're new to the channel, this is what we do, all right? This is my job, buying storage lockers at the auction. I film it so you guys can see what we find, how it goes, you know, the adventure. We take you along with us and it's a lot of fun. So subscribe if you're new, let's get started. All right, guys, let's start this episode out with a laptop box yeah that is interesting it's heavy and i would say it's either the laptop's in here or there's books in here oh okay there's a <laughs> placemat for your dog bowl i guess so different that's these are heavy okay the laptop's in here first of all okay there's some good news there's a laptop right there 40 bucks minimum untested as long as the screen's not wrecked Corners are all messed up. This is good. Look at this. What the heck? We find two tablets right away. Okay, guys. We, our videos don't normally start out this exciting. <laughs> Usually, like, we find a bunch of garbage, and then I try to... I find something good. I save it till the end. Model QMV7B. I don't know what that is. It's probably a Google, right? A Google OS one. But uh, it looks new. It looks like there's barely any wear on it at all. No scratches or anything. That's great. There's another one. Look at that. The screen's beautiful on these. And, oh, there we go, right here. Ellipsis 7, both of them. Ellipsis 7. Let's take a look at this laptop right here. It's pretty light. And it's stinking huge. Do you see that? That's bigger than my laptop. I got a 15 inch. Yeah, this has got to be an 18 inch. <laughs> Look at they got they got the tag over the the camera here. They don't want any hackers to see what they're doing behind the keyboard. Okay, so screen looks good. There's no cracks. It doesn't mean there's not. And when you turn it on, there might be like some cracks you just can't see. But visually, it looks pretty good. Um, keys are all here. I know that sounds silly, but we find a lot of them that don't have the keys. So um, there it is. Aspire. 7560-SB416. I don't know if that's good or not. It's an Acer Aspire. Good find already. Already. That's a fantastic start. We'll put that in the car. All right. I didn't plan it this way, guys. I did not. Oh, never mind. I thought there was a laptop in there. <laughs> it is a laptop box. No, that's not a laptop. A couple wood uh, corner shelves. All right, sorry to get you excited. Oh, I was excited, though. Scandinavian designs. That's actually good. They make a little bit better furniture, don't they? And it's all modern. Mute point? It's not, it's not a furniture. All right, so... All right, we found some... Uh, we found some suits like this in the bags a couple episodes ago. I took them right to the thrift store. I took some stuff to the thrift store that I just don't want to deal with. Maybe that was an mistake. I had some viewers say... Oh, that was a good brand. Christian, uh, not Christian, it was uh, Oscar de Laurent, a vintage suit. This one says Raquette. It's by Macy's. And, uh, huh, I've never heard of that brand, but I know who probably has. That would be my dad. He worked at Macy's for over 35 years. Um, I'll show him that and see what he says. All right. Yeah, okay, 
right here. What do we got? I see the Raiders. I see the Raiders. Heck yeah. Okay, this is a spotlight made in China. Shell is genuine leather. That's what I was looking for. This is a leather jacket, and it looks... My goodness, that doesn't look brand new. No, it's not brand new, but I mean, it, it does not look worn. Look at the sleeves right here. You don't see any wear marks. I don't even see any dirt on here. Well, maybe it was dry clean or something. Wow, this is nice. This is nice, you guys. I see a little, maybe... Is that, no, that's not a spot. It's just a, a suede. Wow, okay, this is good. This is pretty good. I'd say this is 40, 50 bucks at least. And um, it is an extra large, which probably fits me. Probably fits me. Harvey Brothers. Harvey Brothers. Okay, my sport coat. I love that he dry cleaned his clothes. I can't tell you enough that we do not, that is an exception, okay? That is an exception. People don't use, the kind of people that we get storage lockers from don't usually dry clean their clothes. The fact that they're dry cleaning their clothes is a really, really good thing. 43% wool and 57% silk. That's a nice blend. Boy, what is, okay, wait a second. That's, first of all, that's wicked looking, right? But, man, the first year it's like, is that a Salvador Dolly or something? But it's a Rene? Castro, 2008. Look at this. I'm sorry if the actual image offends you guys. This is art. Um, it's a nice frame, too. Frame's in good condition, too. Surprised it's not even wrapped up or anything. This is a. Uh, that's interesting right here. That's. I, I, you see, like. um crinkling in the paper right here see that crinkling like they were holding it oh, and i see a crinkle right here too i'm just wondering if this is an original i'll have to get my loop out and take a closer look at it that's an original piece of artwork and this artist is uh, at all famous this could be a really good find i'm gonna go put that in the car right now i wanted to say that i am just really pleased with this locker like i didn't have high expectations i am pleasantly surprised and i'll tell you that's the best lockers to buy when your hopes and expectations are low and it winds up being much better than you expected, it's a thrill. It really is. And this one, we got it for 50 bucks. It was dusty. It was full. I just didn't, I didn't have that feeling like, oh, I think there's money in here. But there was stuff and there's a, there was a thrill. And I took the chance. But the guys at the front desk, they said, they said, we don't think you're going to really find that good of stuff. I don't think the person had uh, very much money. They're just being honest with me. The fact that if he did buy furniture from Scandinavian Designs, suggests otherwise it's not cheap it's not super expensive but it's not cheap stuff um but we're finding good stuff look at this this is a vintage nfl shirt got raiders all over it it's awesome it looks like it's maybe done a little bit of repair work here see some loose threads this is an older it's like a hawaiian shirt and look at the tag right here that's an older tag um and it's extra large this is my size guys uh i might keep that one i don't know that's a that's a pretty sweet shirt good money anyways this is 10 20 bucks at the vintage market blowing out easy oh this is great players of the century i know exactly what this is it's got four different numbers right here i've had this jersey before we had this one come out of the third time locker this is um oh, i think we've got some stains here i'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit this one might be worth it i hope it's not blood um <laughs> it's a raider fan you never know could be vomit, it could be blood, you just never know what, ah, uh, what the heck, man? I think it's got junk all over the front. That's really a shame. I say we're still gonna be able to sell it for 20. What? $1,700, it says right there. That's not right. These should sell for $100 on eBay right here. I'm saying when I bring it to the market, it's 50 to 60 bucks. Cash money, quick sale. 1700 though, that's kind of just ridiculous. But how do you get it so dirty? If he wore it, he didn't take the tags off, he left the tags in when he's wearing it, that's uncomfortable. But this is a good find. Even with the stains, I got, guys, I'll probably get 30 bucks on this, honestly. Even with the stains, because someone's going to do the work to clean it up. All right, this one says kitchen miscellaneous. Kitchen stuff, boring. But kitchen stuff, a good seller at the flea market. 
Although that's not, that's, that's done. That's not going to be a good seller right there. Okay. But these might. OR Green. What does that say? Oh, it's pretty dirty. Ooh. Dang, man. Did you ever clean your pots? These are, these are pretty good. They'll clean up. I don't see any real scratches on them. Maybe there are. OR Green IC. I don't know that brand. But I think these might actually be a few bucks each. I see a whole bunch of plastic wear in here. Some kitchen utensils here, not bad. Oh, wait a second. That's nice. Peacock, Japan. This might be actually worth something. Let me see. Let's see if it's clean. That's clean. It's clean. That's a nice thermos right there. I know there's a market for vintage thermoses. I don't know if the uh, the Peacock Vacuum Bottle Company made in Japan. That's actually pretty dang nice. All right, put that aside. Hey, there's another one. What is this? Thermos brand. Okay, that's good too. Also clean, like really clean, like never used. Not by this guy, anyways. <laughs> Hey there, Locker Nuts. I decided to stop by and see what Jack was up to and get in on the action. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a box here and unbox it, so why don't you join me? All right, let's check it out. The box was marked purses, but it appears to be clothing with tags. So Kathy Lee collection, got some velvet outfits here, looking for a holiday dress up. Then we got, let's see if these are Levi's. Oh, Jordash, well, even better. Who doesn't love a good pair of Jordashes? Okay, looks like a little dress. This is definitely 80s. It's definitely got the dust since the 80s. Got a cute floral skirt. Ooh, Gloria Vanderbilt. These are all the hipsters love. Got a cool scarf. Uh, ooh, Oakland Raiders. Got some Bobby Brooks denim. Woo. Check out this beauty with some embroidered lipsticks on it. Super sweet. Making sure I'm doing quality control work or I'll get fired. This is a Faded Glory. That's Walmart. Bobby Brooks. Bobby Brooks tag, which looks like it's also Walmart. Oh, Judy Knapp. I remember this brand. Oh my gosh. It's total 80s. Total 80s brand. Oh, this is super hip right now. We've got ourselves a denim zip-up vest. This will get snatched up so quickly at Alameda. This is a find. This is, they love vest. Dickies, can't go wrong with Dickies. Those are still a good seller, solid. So, so far, that's what we got in this box. Let's get another box and go through and unbox another one. Who's ready? For it. And by the way, if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. Join the Locker Nuts family. I grabbed a little box here. It says handle with care. So let's see how nice this is. I'll tell you what is one dusty sucker. If you don't have allergies, you'll have them after you're done with this locker. Okay, let's see. Ooh, mama likes. I like that box. Some champagne glasses. These have got some weight to them. Nice. I see a Tiffany's box. What girl doesn't like a Tiffany's box? Woohoo! Checky outy. Look at that right there. That's good. That's money. Okay, let's see. People like their Tiffany. They like their Tiffany. We like their Tiffany. Okay, let's see what's in it. <laughs> okay, ooh, it still has the sticker on it, folks. This thing is wrapped. It has a Tiffany, ooh, another Tiffany sticker. My goodness, they're thorough. Wouldn't that be funny if it fell? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Even the paper's got, it's like, pearlescent. Okay, so let's see, where's this baby made? In Germany, Tiffany & Co. A classic, this is very pretty. For some reason, whenever it says Tiffany's on it, it just seems so much prettier. Here, this is really nice. Really nice. I like this pattern. I might keep it. 
All right, guys, we're back. After the 10 minutes of me rewrapping the Tiffany vase, we are back. Oh, these have gold on them. Okay, this is nice. Does anyone know that brand? Let's get a good look in there. Take a look at that. It's really beautiful. It has etching with a gold rim on the top. That's really nice. So here's another vase, and it's a set. I have two of them. And uh, this looks really nice. This is really nice quality. This is the same as the other glass. I mean, wow. Here's the brand. And um, it has some really pretty gold etching on it. Isn't that pretty, honey? Mm -hmm. And then look, it has a lid. That's really nice. That is really nice. Good stuff, you guys. This locker, I just want to remind you all, this locker costs $50, people. $50. Ooh. Okay, same brand. And the matching decanter, right? Oh, my gosh. Look how pretty that is. good stuff yeah this is nice all right well that was nice jenna came by for just a little bit and my dad swung by jenna was finishing up a conference call for work apparently and my dad was a little camera shy so he didn't want to be uh on the film <laughs> he just wanted to come and uh, bring us lunch and give us a little bit of his costco run and give us some cereal and canned foods and stuff oh just so you know this one did say miscellaneous paperwork some of the boxes haven't been what they've been marked, so just never know. These guys were definitely organized, but some of the boxes were mislabeled. This is silver. So let's see, is this silver plate or silver? <laughs> Look at that. It's funny because the paper was over it. It tarnished differently. Best wishes make it beautiful. I have a feeling silver plate. Bonita Silversmiths. Almost definitely silver plate. And then here we have a glass serving tray. All right. Ansel Adams calendars. Those are pretty nice. 1989. Maybe we should keep those and put them with the Ansel Adams photo books. Because these could be cut out and put into frames. They're nice. Okay. Check that out. Gone with the Wind. 50th anniversary. And it's VHS. <laughs> All right, guys, I just want to give you a little look at um, what the locker is looking like since we're digging some of these boxes out. Let me turn the camera around. I'm going to show you around. It's looking pretty good. And I say it's looking pretty good because more boxes come out, more boxes are seen in the back. And I see plastic bins. And I see... Yeah, let's check it out. Well, okay, back there, I know there's some furniture, okay, because we see the furniture. I'm hoping there's a lot more boxes back there because the boxes have been good. I have a feeling this whole wall right here might be all boxes i see some back there so i don't know i'm liking it though i'm liking it furniture is going to go a lot quicker once we dig our way back that far but look at all these tools this is good stuff this is good stuff we're gonna have a good day at the flea market this weekend selling some of this and uh, we're gonna have some exciting auctions coming up with the better items but uh yeah what can i say 50 bucks guys this just hardly ever happens it's all right, this box is heavy. Yeah. Actually, a lot of the boxes have been heavy. They definitely packed their boxes. They packed them, I mean, they packed them, meaning they, they're full. They put a lot of stuff in each box. Paper. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Bash the camera. Okay. This looks good right here. This is looking good. Okay, so right here we got some pom-poms. Not a big deal. My girls would be excited about that. Let's have some fun. Okay, here's the guy's tickets, but to Robert, Jim Plunkett. Wow, that's cool. Okay, we got a signed photo. Are we getting this on camera? I just want to make sure I'm getting a good angle here. Signed, Jim Plunkett. Now, this is good right here, guys. Holy smokes, have I not been finding like sports cards galore check this out football cards like crazy all raiders all raiders wow. <laughs> yes okay yeah 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 raiderettes 
That's a baseball too. Huh. Okay. Woo, this is good. This is good. Uh, uh, uh. Man, check this out. Wait, well, who's that guy right there? Oh, Harry Long right there. Look at that. Bo Jackson. Mervin Fernandez. This is Willie Gall. Oh my goodness, so many good players right here. Must have been like the greatest or something. All stars. I don't know. This is outstanding. Raiders. Raiders. All right. Raiders. 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 Yep. Just like it says. Oakland Raiders. Trading card collection. Outstanding. Okay. What's this? Oh, man. This is somebody's all full collection right here. Oh. Tom Floor is a signed photo. These are all signed photos. Jim Plunkett. Uh oh, guys. This is going to be good. Uh, uh. What the heck? These are all signed. All to Ramon. The guy that owned this. Number one Raider fan. My goodness. Look at how many of these there are. This guy must have gone to every Raiders function ever. Even got the cheerleaders to sign it. All these, okay, and then this is just, okay, just paper and sheet, empty sheets, but look like he planned to put more in. So cool. That's really interesting. Okay, got another one. <laughs> what does it say here? Score. So Score brand cards. He's got a whole nother collection here. Amazing. And then what else we got here? This is exciting. Oh my goodness, look at this. More loose ones. All Raiders. Alright. Got any Raider fans? This stuff's going to be up for auction on our live auctions Monday nights. Um, more Raiders cards. That's what it all is. It's crazy. I've been buying... This is, did not look like a collector's unit. It did not. There's just some packs of some some covers, the sheaths that you put them in, the protectors, and a couple of uh, seat cushions. Nice. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, next box. That one's on top. It's all dusty. This actually looks kind of interesting too. I see a wood box right here. Let's come in, take a closer look. I'll make sure you can see this as well as I can. Uh, see that wood box right here? Let's get to that in a sec. Okay, what do we got here? Hot holder. A um, couple more things for cats. These guys really like their cats. Cats. Okay, maybe that's not a cat thing. It's supposed to be something for like, for your cat. I don't know. take that home <laughs> uh, that will sell I, you know, the cat's in the garage she didn't destroy nothing she never did even anyways she never scratched on anything she's pretty good that way um, telephone book nope Couple cat magazines nope we got some brandy music CD and some burn CDs uh, got some office supplies here okay Andrea, some floppy disks. I haven't seen a lot of floppy disks lately. It's like I didn't see any of those in a, for a long time. Some family photos, we'll get back to them. Oh, what's this? Hmm, okay, what is this? Oh, nice. The rosary beads? Huh, I wonder if they are silver though. It kind of looks silverish. I don't know. That's kind of nice. Put that aside. What do you think's in here? Could be anything, right? Okay, some book holder bookmarks. A whole, he's got a bookmark collection, guys. 
Oh, look at that, $5 bill, an old reproduction of an old $5 bill for a bookmark. A whole bookmark collection. How funny is that? Some random weird stuff, but still dig collection. Okay, War Greatest Hits Live. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I'm going to look that up. That might be worth something. All right. You know this is what we like right here. <laughs> and it's not empty. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. What do we got? Okay, first off, we got a Raiders money clip, which closes with a magnet. And it's super, super strong. Okay, we might have to put this down, actually. What is this? Okay, more cufflinks, and uh, they're nice. Look at that. Those are nice. I don't think they're gold, but they're they're nice. Even if they're not gold, they're nice. Okay, what we got in here? This is Mervin's right here. Okay, got a bunch of little earrings, it's men's earrings, like, because we used to only pierce on one side. I don't know what the kids are doing these days, but you only pierced on one side. Uh, there's a little Raiders, there's a big, probably a big cubic zirconian, and then here's something that's probably silver. It's just sterling silver, so it's probably all of silver. Um, okay, here's another st sterling silver. A couple more, a little dollar sign, and a yin and yang. Another sterling silver right here. Hopefully these are the same earrings that came out of it. Because I don't really know. That kind of looks like silver too. I don't know. Little arrowhead. That's kind of interesting. It's just a trinket, but it goes on a goes on a necklace. Okay, there's another Raiders earring, but look at it. Looks like it got broke and he tried to glue it. It's trash now. Yeah, another little earring. This one's really tarnished, but it's a little cat earring. See that? And a little hawk of some sort. I don't know. It's busted right there, but okay. There's a, a cigar clipper, lighter. Ooh, that's dusty. Uh, this is some. What is this? These little earrings. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a little bit more silver right there. Maybe even some gold. Could be some gold there. Let's take a closer look at that later. And here's a little rock of some sort. And a brass unicorn. Who do we know that likes unicorns? You guys know who likes unicorns? Put it in the comments below. Please. Alright. A little pill container or who knows what else you could put in there all right that's a cool little box i like it i like it a lot check it out miscellaneous boom box some of the older 80s boom boxes they go for some big money mm. all right mega base port it's a sony cfd s34 Let's see if i can look that up before the flea market so i get an idea of the value if there is any more bags, a couple more seat cushions. Got a lot of seat cushions. And so this, this is a car cover right here. Uh, you know what? It's like brand new too. I know what this is because car covers always come in bags that have the same kind of texture as the car cover. So car covers sometimes can be worth some money. And this is brand spanking. Wait, is this a car cover? This is not a car cover. Intex. So this is a uh, inflatable mattress. No, it doesn't feel like it. Oh my goodness, it's not even a car cover. It feels like the car cover material, guys. So now you're gonna say, "Ah, oh, you don't even know what you're talking about." <laughs> well, you know what? This is uh, feels like car cover material. And maybe I was wishful thinking because I need a car cover. I need to cover my Miata. It's getting 
roasted and toasted. More good news. Because there's more shoes. I don't see a brand in here. Oh, there it is, Durango. We found some other boots that were Durango. And uh, they seem like they're decent boots. I could sell boots at the flea market. That is full show. RJ Colt. It's nice sandals. These ones are in good condition. DMX. DMX2. Hmm. Some decent boots right there. Sperry Topsiders. It's good. And look at that. The Reeboks are thrashed. Every time we find Reeboks, they're thrashed. Because the dude loved his Reeboks. It's like the only pair of shoes he really wore. Whew. All right, guys. It is getting hot. The sun has moved over here. I got no shade. Only when I get deeper in here do I have a little bit of shade. Whew. It's getting hot. Well, we found a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at that sun right when I step forward. We found a bunch of stuff. Jana came and helped. She had a little bit of a taste of the locker, which is great since she was here to buy it. Um, it's good for her to actually experience some of it too. But I don't think she found anything really, really good. But I did find some good stuff, right? I found those uh, Raiders binders of the sports cards. I like that kind of stuff because it is unique. Someone took a lot of time to put those collections together. And that's the kind of stuff we like showing on our auctions, right? On our Monday night auction. Yeah, look for those. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you'll be alerted when we do something last minute, like a pop-up auction or if we broadcast live from the flea market. You never know. Make sure you have your notifications on so you'll know when we're live. All right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked what you saw. If you're new to the channel, this is what we do. Basically, we bring stuff out. We have no clue what we're going to find, and that makes it an adventure, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. All right? Thank you so much for watching. Next video will be out soon. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockin' Nuts. In the sun, out of the sun, in the sun, out of the sun.